We are at a crossroads, and we have a choice to make. Simply put, life has gotten more difficult for many in Fairfax County over the past few years. Each year, families work harder to get by. We run through our frenzied days wondering if our children will be better off than us, whether we are still within reach of the American dream. And our elected officials, from the White House on down, seem to have lost their basic sense of right and wrong, lost their respect for the values of community and common good, and focus instead on power for its own sake. But we are not defined by our challenges. We are defined by the choices we make in response to these challenges. Fairfax County is where I was born and raised and where I've chosen to raise my family. I grew up in Tyson's Corner, surrounded by farms that have slowly made way for high rises. As our community has grown, I have grown alongside it, developing an enduring love for this place and my neighbors. As the son and husband of teachers, I've seen firsthand the sacrifices our educators make for the next generation. As a graduate of Fairfax County Public Schools, I've reaped the benefits of a world-class public education. And as a school board member for the past seven years, I've partnered with parents, students, and educators to keep our school system the best in the nation. Even in the face of constant budget shortfalls, I've led the push for important reforms to our schools and competitive compensation for our teachers. But there comes a time when experience must make way for new ideas. So I sit here before you for two reasons. First, to announce my candidacy for chairman of the Fairfax County Board of Supervisors. And second, to say that in Fairfax County, we don't give up, we don't walk away from a challenge, and we don't turn our backs on our friends and neighbors. Like a family, we pull together, believing in each other and ourselves. And while Fairfax County is a wonderful place to live for many, it isn't working for everyone. Past decisions have increased the stark divide between the haves and have-nots, effectively creating two Fairfaxes. At my core, I believe everyone deserves access to several basic things. A great education, a roof over their head, food on their table, health care for their family, and an opportunity to succeed. I believe that together, we will create the best education system in America. Let's invest in education, including universal pre-kindergarten, so that every child in Fairfax County can be prepared to join a global workforce. We will be fiscally disciplined. I've worked with members of all parties on the school board to balance budgets, hire an independent auditor, and keep our taxes low while investing in our workforce. And we will lead the nation in innovation in both the public and private sectors. Fairfax must prepare for growing pains as our region attracts new tech companies and ensure that every Fairfax resident can share in those opportunities. We must adapt to new technologies and ensure internet access for all. We must repair our crumbling schools and roads while making our infrastructure sustainable. And we must preserve our shrinking green space. As I run to represent you as the progressive choice for chairman, the only endorsement that matters to me is yours, the people of Fairfax County, and I will work my hardest to earn it. Together, let's write the next chapter of our story, one of education, innovation, and opportunity for all.